What is microdosing? You may have heard the term microdosing when it comes to mushrooms, but today we're gonna talk about microdosing THC. We're gonna get into what is microdosing, how do you find the proper dosage to microdose, and what are the benefits of microdosing? So if you're a beginner to using THC or to the concept of microdosing, or you just wanna learn how to elevate your wellness game, well then stay tuned, let's get into it. I'm Shereen Kassam with MyPainCenter.com and I am using a jar as a mic, which I'm now going to get rid of. Let's talk about what is microdosing. So research has shown that microdosing can improve cognitive thinking and your mood. It is also shown that microdosing throughout the day can help relieve your pain and inflammation. But what exactly does microdosing mean? Microdosing means taking very small amounts of THC and CBD so that you don't feel the over intoxication or if euphoria of THC. In simpler words, basically what microdosing means is that when you go to a dispensary and you buy THC gummies. The average amount of THC in a gummy that usually you can buy at a dispensary is 10 milligrams. If you take 10 milligrams of THC, you could be flat out. Like you could be so high, you can't do anything, you'll be couch locked, but you may be able to function. Everybody reacts differently. I'm just talking from my experience. If I take a 10 milligram THC gummy, I can only take it at night because I need to then go to sleep. I do have a video where I did take a Delta 9 THC 10 milligram gummy and you can see that I was like, ah. So microdosing means taking a smaller amount of THC and combining it with CBD so that you don't feel that psychoactive intoxication, that euphoria. Microdosing also means that you can then take it gradually throughout the day, the THC, because you're taking it in smaller amounts so that you're constantly relieving your pain. Microdosing has been shown to improve cognitive thinking. It's shown to improve mood, relieve pain, help relieve anxiety, help relieve depression. It's got so many benefits to it. Another research report said that Microdosing can be a better option than taking a full dose all at once because it provides a more controlled experience. It allows you to enjoy subtle benefits without the intensity of higher doses. It also says that microdosing could offer a more controlled and gradual approach to pain management. Those are the benefits of why you would want to microdose. The other thing when it comes to microdosing is that the gummies usually have CBD and THC. Now, why would you want both? So let's take a step back. What is CBD and THC? THC, like we talked about, is the intoxicant cannabinoid from a marijuana plant that makes you euphoric, it makes you high, it gives you an elevation. CBD is non-psychoactive cannabinoid in the marijuana plant, but they both have really good potential benefits for wellness. They're both really good for pain, inflammation, decreasing anxiety, decreasing stress, calming you down, relaxing you, staying focused. They can both help you with mood upliftment. THC is really good if you need an appetite stimulant with nausea. So they both have a lot of benefits. When you put them together, you get what's called the entourage effect. So you just multiply multiplying the benefits. Also, when you take CBD with THC, you minimize the high, the euphoricness of the THC. If you take 10 milligrams of THC in your meat, you might feel like this much euphoria. But if you take CBD with it, the CBD helps to bring down the euphoria. So that's why the gummies for microdosing usually will have CBD and THC together. Say you want a microdose. How do you know how much to microdose? Let's get into it. We offer three options at mypaincenter.com to help you find the right dosage. You you could start with a two milligram THC gummy. I call these my social gummy. They've got 25 milligrams of CBD and two milligrams of THC. So you should not feel any psychoactive or euphoria, or if you do, it's gonna be like a slight buzz. Everybody's different based on genetics, metabolism, what you ate. This is just my experience. So I'm a stand up comedian and I love being on stage. I love making people laugh. But after 45 minutes of doing that, I don't wanna talk to you. My introverted social battery is done, it's depleted. But if you've ever been to a comedy show, after the show, Show, the comedian has to go out there and has to talk to you, hug you, sign autographs, take pictures, sell merch, make small talk. It is exhausting. As soon as I get off stage, I pop one of these. I don't pop it while I'm on stage because no, I like to be in the zone. But I will pop this as soon as I get off stage and you will think I'm just flying high. Not like literally high, like you can't tell I'm high, but you think I love life. And I do love life, but I don't like people. But you can't tell because I got this in my system. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? So like if you're an introvert or you just don't like so social gatherings or like the holidays are coming up and you know it's gonna get heated at the Thanksgiving table with the election and Christmas is just gonna, depending on who wins, Christmas could just be like a
So you may want to take one of these. These are also really good if you're a beginner to THC, you just want to dabble in THC. You've always used CBD, but you're like, maybe the THC might elevate my game a little bit. And when I say elevate my game, just give you more relief, whether it's from pain, inflammation, anxiety, because sometimes people with anxiety, if they take too much THC, it could trigger their anxiety. But at two milligram, it might just be enough to help you decrease your anxiety, but not trigger it. These come in a watermelon flavor, which I think are delicious. Say you want something a little bit stronger. Well, then you can go with our five milligram THC gummy with 25 milligrams of CBD. I call these my focus gummies. With five milligrams, I do feel a slight buzz. I do feel a little elevation. Not a lot, like not enough to be like super high, but high enough where you can tell I'm focused on something. Like my eyes are like locked in onto whatever I'm doing, whether I'm reading or I'm on the computer, I'm in it to win it. That's why I call these my afternoon buzz gummies. These are really good like at three, four o'clock when you're just at that hump and you're just trying to get over it to get through the rest of your day. This one is also really good for pain management, for mood upliftment, creativity, focus, productivity. It's a really good daytime gummy. At the five milligram mark and you're like, you know what, I'm ready for that dispensary grade 10 milligram gummy. Bring it on. But... I don't want to get too high. Like, is it really going to make me super high? Really euphoric? Am I going to like lose my mind? Am I going to get super dizzy? Am I going to get paranoid? I don't know how you're going to react to 10 milligrams. Um, I made a YouTube video. I took a 10 milligram gummy and I show you my experience. I was just couch locked. I was just tired. I was sleepy. I was ready to go to bed. It's not one that you can function with, but if you are nervous about feeling that euphoria or you just don't want to feel that euphoria at all because you just don't like it, then you can take our blueberry lemonade gummy which is 10 milligrams of THC. So dispensary grade, 10 milligrams of THC, but with 50 milligrams of CBD. So what does that mean? Well, that means with the 10 milligrams of THC, you are gonna feel elevated, euphoric, psychoactive high, but the 50 milligrams of CBD is gonna bring that euphoria down. So it's not gonna be as strong a euphoria as you may get if you didn't have the CBD in there at all. Instead of feeling like a 10 milligram euphoria, you're gonna feel a little less of a euphoria because you've got the CBD bringing your high down. These are your sleep gummies. You're just looking for something to calm you down before bed, you know, while you're watching TV. I don't suggest you taking it while you're drinking, but if you're trying to replace drinking in those empty calories, then this could be the way to go. I really love these for sleep. When I take THC, like 10 milligrams of THC to sleep, I can feel the elevation in my head. And so it's like this weird feeling while I'm sleeping. Cause I'm like, am I sleeping or am I high? I'm like, not sure. I would love to know if you guys have that experience. But anyways, when I take this one, I don't get that high elevation while I'm sleeping so I know I'm actually sleeping if that makes sense so that's why I really like these gummies I've explained to you the two milligram the five milligram and the ten milligram gummy I love doing experience videos I love trying the gummy and showing you how I react I need your help which one would you like me to try the two milligram the five milligram or the ten milligram and is there any activity you would like me to do when I take it obviously within legal bounds please don't ask me to do something like mow the lawn because it's, I'm in Florida it's like 110 degrees here but just like if you want me to do something let me know and I will try it just drop it in the the comments which one are you interested in me doing an experience video on if you have any questions thoughts comments drop them down below make sure you hit that subscribe button y'all you can visit us at mypeencenter.com for all your thc or cbd needs and we'll ship it right to your door again i'm shereen kasam and i hope to see you on the next video